my Nancy Wooster again, and this is Waco. Hi, Waco. And that is Lucky. And today, we're going to read a book, especially for a little girl named Abby. Hi, Abby. Abby lost her dog, Lilybeth, in the storm. And we're going to read for you, Dog Heaven. Dog Heaven. Hear that, Lucky? Listen, Lucky, you are lucky. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. When dogs go to heaven, they don't need wings because God knows that dogs love running best. Best at anything. He gives them fields, fields, and fields, and fields. Lots of fields. Hear that, Lucky? Mm -hmm. When a dog first arrives in heaven, he just runs ones and ones and ones. Dog heaven has clear, wide lakes filled with geese who honk and flap, honk, honk, and tease, and dogs love this. Yes, they do. They run beside the water, and they bark and bark and bark and bark and bark and bark, and God watches them from behind a tree. You know what he does? Smiles. He does. He smiles. There are children, of course, angel children. Angel children. God knows that dogs love children more than anything in the world, so he fills dog heaven with lots of them. There are children on bikes, Children on sleds. There are children throwing red rubber balls. Children with kites pulling them through the clouds. The dogs are there, and the children love them very much. And oh, the dog biscuits. Dog biscuits. Dog biscuits. You hear that, Lucky? Dog biscuits. Dog biscuits. Biscuits and biscuits, far as the eye can see. God has a sense of humor, too. So he makes the biscuits in funny shapes for his dogs. Like what? Kitty cat biscuits. Squirrel biscuits, ice cream biscuits, ham sandwich biscuits, ham sandwich. Every angel who passes by has a biscuit for a dog. And of course, all God's dogs sit when the angels say sit, sit, sit. Every dog becomes a good dog in heaven. God turns clouds inside out to make fluffy beds for dogs. I bet they like that. They do. And when they're tired of running and barking and eating ham sandwich biscuits, ham sandwich, then each dog finds a cloud perfect for sleeping. They turn around and around and around in the cloud till it feels just right, and they curl up and go to sleep. God watches over each one of them. And there are no bad dreams. No bad dreams in heaven. Dogs in dog heaven have almost always belonged to somebody on earth. And of course, the dogs remember this. Helen is, heaven is full of memories. So sometimes the angel will walk a dog back to earth for a little visit. Aww. Yeah. And quietly, invisibly, the dog will sniff about his old backyard. Sniff, sniff. And investigate the cat next door. Follow the child to school. And sit on the front porch and wait for the mail. They go bark, 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 bark. When the dog is satisfied that all is well, he returns to heaven with the angel. It's where dogs belong, near God, who made them. The dogs in dog heaven who didn't have a real home on earth, they get one in heaven. Yeah, yeah. The homes have yards and porches and couches to lay on and tables to sleep on and chairs to sit under, and angels to feed them dinner. There are special bowls with the dog's name on them, and every dog is petted and reminded he's a good dog. Good dog. Dogs in dog heaven can stay as long as they like, and that means forever. They'll be there when old friends show up. They'll be there waiting at the door. Angel dogs. Angel dogs. We know your dog, Lily Beth. We do love you, Abby.